What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Mac. The return of the Mac. What's up? What's up, man? Now, recently, I dropped a video where I gave my opinion of why I felt like LeBron James is the GOAT. And y'all came at me, some of y'all rolled with me, but a lot more of y'all went at my head, calling me crazy. One cat said, look, dude, LeBron might be top five, but to say he's a GOAT, that's just plain stupid and you don't know basketball. And I'm like, wait a minute. If somebody could be the top five of something in your eyes and you think it's weird for another person to think they're the GOAT, just because you may disagree with them being the GOAT don't mean that it doesn't make sense. If you make the top five, at least that's what I thought. But even though I got a lot more hate, a lot more jokes going towards me, yeah, I know I look like the old Uncle Phil. Yes, I know I look like Fat Vince Carter. Yes, I know I look like Ruben Stutter. Yes, I know I look like Queens Flip, but I'm from the South, so it's New Orleans Flip. Anyway, I get all of that. But y'all also showed your boys some love. A lot of folks disagreed with me, but still supported the channel, subscribed to the channel, and follow the channel. So before I jump into the subject matter, let me let y'all know that y'all can help support a small YouTuber by continuing to doing that. Like, subscribe, or share to the channel. Also, man, thank you to every last one of y'all that clicked on the video. Whether you came to tell jokes, whether you jumped on there to, to disagree with me and call me stupid, whether y'all agree with me, I'll support the channel. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Because the only way we grow is if y'all let them know. And y'all can continue to do that by simply hitting the like button, share button or subscribe to the channel now what we got to talk about today since i brought up my boy lebron i brought up lebron james i brought up the lakers we got to talk about how the lakers lost last night we got to talk about a few things with the la lakers that i'm somewhat of a fan of because y'all know i'm a fan of my boy l boogie lebron james so i guess inherently i'm somewhat of a lakers fan but I ain't a full Lake Show fan like some of y'all who think Kobe the GOAT no matter what. Y'all don't want to hit no exceptions, and I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I, I don't agree with you, but I'm not mad at how you feel, okay? But let's talk about currently what's going on with the Lakers, how they lost to the Golden State Warriors yesterday, 128 to 121. And thankful to ABC's broadcasting, I had a chance to watch the game, and I did enjoy it up until the fourth quarter. There's a few things set out that didn't sit with me, you know. My, Le my man LeBron James hit a corner three. Hit a corner three to cut the lead to 124-120. Cut the lead to four points as he slid out of bounds. Y'all went back and reviewed that and said he stepped out of bounds, which he probably did, not disagreeing with that. And y'all took the points off. Don't have an issue with that. The only thing that I, that weirded me out about it is y'all let Golden State have an entire possession before y'all went back to review that play. Now, I don't know if anybody paid attention to that. So I don't have an issue with the Lakers losing, but that was just a little weird officiating. You know? That was a little weird officiating to me. But we got to talk about what – can't talk about what players can't control. Can't control the referees, can't control the clock, can't control the official review unless your big-foot-ass LeBron don't step out of bounds. Can't control all of that. We got to talk about the Lakers and what we could control. Things that y'all could have controlled, right? Now, LeBron James, in my opinion, the GOAT, or at least one of the GOATs, or at least a legend. But it's times where I have to, even myself as a fan, hell, even probably Savannah James, has to be honest with the fact that sometimes, LeBron, you take a little bit too long to take over the game. Now, I know a lot of people going to look at your stats and think I'm I'm crazy. You probably dropped maybe 41 because you had 30. You had about, about 40 last time I looked at the game because once I saw them wave them three points off, I knew it wasn't no point in watching the rest of it. But your numbers are going to dictate like you dominated. But I watched in the second half of that game when they started the third quarter, when the Lakers was only down one point, then down three points, then down five points, then down eight points. LeBron, you waited till that team got down in double digits before you told them cats, give me the ball and get out the way. Now, I got to be honest, and, and the MJ fans going to be clapping, the Kobe fans are going to be clapping. 
neither one of them dudes is going to wait till his team is getting their ass kicked to say, give me the ball, get out the way. The moment he see y'all not scoring, because the Lakers, D'Lo, Reeves, Himachimura, they was they they wasn't they shots wasn't falling. I get the second half. You come out there, okay? The game plan. We I'm gonna get my other guys going. I'm gonna get Reeves going. I'm gonna get I'm gonna let D'Lo do his thing. I'm gonna let Himachimura do his thing. I'm gonna you know try to find a few guys, right? And keep in mind, y'all, we're gonna talk about AD in just a second. LeBron ain't the biggest shake in my head. I'm really only getting on LeBron because this is GOAT status. You not, you not a, a, a star in the NBA. You're not a superstar in the NBA. Nigga, you not just a legend. You are considered to be a GOAT. I was in the barbershop, got bored, and I found, and I did what everybody across America know to do in the barbershop when you feel bored. Just say LeBron is the GOAT. And it'll get the whole shop going in commotion. And why did it go in commotion? Because the old heads like me was riding with Jordan. But them young kids, them cats born in them 90s, in them 2000s, like from the 99 and the 2000, them kids from that era, they saying you the GOAT, LeBron. But I got to be 100. Kobe, Jordan, once he saw them niggas miss two shots, give me the ball, get out the goddamn way. I think you took a little bit too long, and at your age, I think you overexerted yourself because you waited till y'all was down double digits, what made you have to work even harder to get y'all back in that game. I'm sorry, Brian. I felt like when, when y'all was down one or down two, you should have just came out taking over the game in the third quarter, man. And I know he, he's he's far to y'all, even though that's LeBron. I get it. His body ain't going to let him do everything. I'm not here to skip bail some the, the, the man and nothing like that. I'm just saying, we got to be honest. LeBron James fans, we got to be honest. He took too long to take over that game. He took too long. And that was an important game. And that's another reason why I think some people really be kind of really not watching the, the I mean, I'm sorry, not the WNBA. We know why they not watch the WNBA. But the, the we, um yeah, because men, men are... There's, they're male chauvinists. That's the real reason why they're not watching the WNBA. That's the real reason. Okay. Anyway, we know why the ratings in the NBA is going down. You know what I'm saying? And it's because of stuff like that. We know why the ratings in the NBA is going down is because they want to see moments where when the Lakers and Golden State play LeBron versus Steph Curry, two legendary players, two guys that you can say the man of their errors go at it. We wanted to see a tough game. We want to see y'all go out. And on paper, it may look that way. But if you watch the game, you'll know that there was moments where we felt LeBron should have took over and handled his business. But like I said, LeBron wasn't the biggest culprit in the Lakers loss, in my opinion. And I have no idea how LeBron James ain't just looking at Anthony Davis like, dog, I just want to boop, boop your neck just one time. And I like AD. I ain't. Like, I know I be going in on AD sometime. I'm like, boy, AD going to see me and probably want to jump and chunk something at me. I don't know. But AD, I got to call it out, bro. I got to be honest with you, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to do none of this lame stuff and call you soft or call you out your name or anything or stuff like that. I'm not going to do none of that. That's your man. You know what I'm saying? You got children. You probably got a family, stuff like that. So I'm not going to ever disrespect you on no personal level. But if I am the Los Angeles Lakers, I'll be paying your ass by the hour. I will be making you the only one on the team that's going to get paid by the hour. You're the only one. There's no way. You just signed the biggest deal in the NBA, and you deserve it. Let's make sure that, and you deserve it, probably even more. Because without y'all doing y'all thing, the people who own them teams wouldn't be billionaires and making all that money. Well, they probably still be billionaires, but they wouldn't be making all that money. So I ain't going to say you don't deserve your bag. Well, I ain't going to say the rest of the cats in the NBA don't deserve their bag, but your ass would be getting paid by the hour. You would get, big, get paid by the hour, bro. You talking about somebody poked you in your eye, and that's the reason why you ain't get back in the game? Another reason why the ratings are going down in the NBA. Now, look, I'm not one to keep saying the 80s and 90s was better than y'all because I'm not holding on to my era. I'm not about to be in there listening to Joe. Don't want to be a player no more. 
and listen to old Tupac songs talking about these rappers of the day ain't never going to be like Tupac. Well, because they're not Tupac. They don't have to be like Tupac. That's cool. Just like the players of today don't have to be like the players in the 80s who went out there drunk and at halftime was doing a lot of and get right back in the game. The players of today don't have to do that. However, at some point, bruh, when do you put the team above you? At some point, when do you play for the name in front of the jersey and not the name in back of it? You know what I'm saying? I'm all for a man handling his business and doing his thing for his family and doing all that type of stuff. But at the same time, bruh, y'all know y'all trying to win something, AD. Them people ain't give you all that money for you to go sit in the back room because your eye was poked in. And if AD ain't the reason why he set out that game, some coaching staff, some doctor, or somebody need to stand up and speak up. But, AD, based off your reputation, this sound like one of the moments where you want to sit out. And I felt like the Lakers could have, would have definitely won that game if you was playing. Like, really, brother? We talk about LeBron and all that type of stuff, dog, but I think it's time for LeBron to be the co-star of the team, AD, and it's time for you to step up. You baby Shaq. You baby Shaq with handles. You baby Shaq with handles and a jump shot. You baby Shaq with handles, a jump shot, and a unibrow. You Anthony Davis. Wake up, baby. What's going on? You telling me somebody poked you in your eye and you ain't want to go out there and drop 40, 50 on them? You don't get tired of them acting like Nurkic and Sabonis is better than you. That don't bother you. That don't get under your skin. That's all I'm saying, AD, bro. Hey, players mess up. It's all good. Nobody's perfect, baby. But the next game, you need to go out there and get 40 and 20, period. The next game, you need to get 40 and 20. And if Lakers... He got you. I ain't gonna lie to you, Andrew Davis. When not when it come to handling your business, oh I man, you you the legend. You the legend. When it come to getting them NBA contracts, you are the goat. There ain't no way. Hell, I would. Your ass would get. I don't care that it'll probably be eighty seven hundred and sixty four thousand an hour you getting, but you getting paid by the hour. No more of this guaranteed money for your ass. Ain't no more of that, AD. I'm sorry, man. I ain't and I ain't trying to go in on you, but I felt like. You handcuffing the Lakers from, from from greatness, bro. And I don't know why. I don't understand. Y'all really got a really, really, really good team. You got you, LeBron, Hamachimura, uh, Reeves, D Law. Like, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all got a great team, man. Don't let this happen to y'all, bro. Y'all turned it around last year. Y'all went from what the 13th seed all the way up to the Western Conference Finals. So y'all know y'all dogs and y'all know no team in the West really want to see y'all when y'all touch the playoffs. But the Lakers, you got to do better than that. D'Angelo Russell, hey, man, you a shooter, bro. It happens. It happens. I'm never going to get mad at a person who most of their points come from jump shots. Sometimes they fall, sometimes they don't. Same with Reeves. They not, but they're not the stars of the team. They ain't the big budget of the team. LeBron James, Anthony Davis... Y'all got to do better than that, straight up. And that's coming from a fan, not a hater, even though I know y'all going to come in this comment section. And guess what? I don't care because I'm Tony Mack, where it's always real, but it's always love. Peace.